Hi, this is a tutorial on how to use Picasa to create a collage of photos to fit into your Facebook timeline cover. If you don't already have Picasa, uh, the first order of business is to go get it. To download Picasa, go to picasa.google.com. It's free, and right there is the download button. You can download it and install it. If you don't already have it, Picasa is well worth having. It's uh, a nice photo um, organizer and editor, and it has some cool little fun things you can do with it too, like making these uh, photo collages. After you've installed Picasa and you run it, it will come up looking something like this. Uh, down the left hand side you can divide your pictures up in different ways by albums which you create by people or by folders now you may be wondering how do you organize by people well uh, Picasso has um, facial recognition built in but you can also sort your uh, by folders just like in a regular uh, like internet uh, uh, Microsoft Explorer. To be able to see it and understand how to navigate through the folders and through the drives, it's best to use this right here, Set View to Show Folder Tree Structure. Uh, by default, I think it comes up like this, and that may be fine once you're in a folder or once you're on a drive, but to navigate through all your drives, that's confusing to me. So go ahead and click that button right there and make sure that this little drop down this right here is not click uh, checked simplified tree structure if you check that you get something more like that first uh, style and it's a little harder to understand where you are on the drives and let's say I wanted to find pictures of uh, these race cars here there you are I click on click on that folder and there's the pictures in that folder real simple now if I wanted to uh, pick a few of these pictures and make a collage then I can uh, hold down my control button and select the pictures right that I want to be in the collage deselect the ones I don't want to be in the collage and go to create picture collage and there it is there's a collage now this is not the right shape to go into a Facebook timeline cover and as you probably already know it doesn't have to be the correct shape but if you want everything to look exactly the way you want it to look then it's nice if you can crop the picture to the correct shape and it's extra nice in this case uh, with these collages Okay, so let's go through the features on the collage here. Uh, the first one at the very top is that you can uh, select different um, styles of collages. This one right here is a mosaic. And then there's the picture pile. And uh, within the picture pile, there's a few options there. You can make it look like those, uh, what's that called? Uh, instant camera plain white border and no border um, all right then uh, let's see there's the uh, frame mosaic in other words it's a mosaic that forms a frame around a central photo so if you got one that's your favorite you put that in the center and let the other ones form a frame around it all right um, grid just as simple they're all the exact same size and shape uh, that just fill up the shape that you have for your overall uh, shape of the mosaic of the uh, collage contact sheet and multiple exposure now why would you want that <laughs> I guess if you got maybe two pictures it would be kind of cool you know but uh, for a for a lot of pictures not much use there and uh, this is the one I use for the um, 
uh, for the Facebook timeline cover, the mosaic. Once you've uh, selected your pictures, you've created your mosaic, you can uh, change the grid spacing or the, uh, the, uh, the gap between the photos. Uh, you can uh, put a little border between the photos, which personally I like. I think it looks sharp. And you can increase that uh, border size to ridiculous uh, extent there. Um, now, uh, the background options. Uh, I use a solid color, and usually I use white. But uh, you can change the color to anything you like. Or you can use an image. Now, an image would be kind of silly if you don't if you have this tiny little gap because you can't see it. However, if you had a larger gap uh, grid spacing, then it starts to make a little bit more sense because you can see the background image, and then you have all your photos laid in on top of it. And you can pick which one you want to be the background image. Just uh, pick the image and say you selected. Pick the image, you selected. I like to say that I prefer a white background with a small grid spacing. All right, then the next thing is the shape, and that's the really important one for um, a Facebook timeline cover. And the shape of a Facebook timeline cover is 850 by 315. Now, when you say, um, when you come down here to this drop down and you, and, and you say, okay, I want to pick a shape, that 850 by 315 will not be in the list of shapes. You have to add it. But don't panic. That's pretty easy. All you do is you slide this little scroll bar all the way down and down at the very bottom you see add custom aspect ratio that's the shape click that and it will come up and it'll say okay what shape would you like for it to be and you say 850 by 315 and then you give it a name Facebook timeline cover And uh, okay, alrighty. So then, uh, once you've created your shape, or picked your shape if it's already created, then you just tell it which way you want it oriented. No matter what shape you have, you can orient it in landscape or portrait. Once you've done that, then. Um, well, okay, down here at the very bottom. Let me show you this real quick. Once you have a sufficient grid spacing, you can put a drop shadow behind your pictures. Well, you don't have to have a sufficient grid spacing, but if it helps because if you have a drop shadow behind your pictures, you want enough space so that you can see it. Otherwise, what's the point? All right, now, we were on orientation. And after you've oriented it the way you want, want it oriented, then pay attention to this bottom left-hand corner. Right down here, if, you're, if this is a Facebook uh, timeline cover, this little corner right here will be where your uh, profile picture goes. And it will cover up a large part of this area right here where I'm moving my mouse around. Pick your least favorite to put in that corner because it's going to be partially covered up. Also, if you are not happy with the way they're organized, you can you can move them around any way you like. You can take another one of your lesser favorites and put it in one of these small pictures. Uh, now, you can't change the size. You know, I mean, you can't come over here and say, make this one big, but if you want this picture to be big, just move it over to a big square. And put one you don't like in this smaller. If you don't want any small pictures, the only way to do that is to use less photos. Like for instance, you can say select that and then remove it and it will reorganize the pictures. 
and the more you remove, the less uh, small pictures you have. Because you've got a certain size shape here, and it's going to fill that shape with the pictures. And the more pictures you have, the smaller it has to make, the more of them it has to make small to fit them all in there. Once I'm happy with uh, the pictures I've selected, the order they're in, which ones are in the left hand corner, and all that sort of stuff, I can go back to settings up here, this tab, and adjust it some more if I like. Change the uh, grid pattern, whatever. Yeah, because you noticed when I took all those pictures out, the grid spacing got larger. But I can make it small again. When I'm really happy with the whole thing, I click Create Collage. It will create a draft version of it that I can approve or go back to uh, editing. Now, if I'm happy with it, I say back to library. Now, when I said back to library, it automatically went to the folder where it keeps collages. So now I want to take that picture, locate on disk. I'm sure you can do this in Picasa, but I just feel more comfortable doing things like copying and, and moving files in Explorer. Okay, so when I said locate on disk, it came up with Explorer, and it has the uh, collage there. We're in the collage folder. It has the collage that I just created highlighted, and I can say copy or move, either one and move it to where I keep my collages, where I keep my uh, Facebook timeline covers. Now I can go to Facebook and say change cover, upload photo, go to Facebook covers and there it is, open. And there it is. Save changes, and there you are. There's how to, uh, first of all, how to use uh, Picasa a little bit, how to create a collage in Picasa, and how to create a collage in the correct shape to be a Facebook timeline cover. Hope, hope you enjoyed that. Hope, hope you have fun doing that, and uh, see you next time.